around 3,000 kilometers in distance, Switzerland and Egypt might seem a world apart culturally and geographically, but in 2013, midfielder Mohamed El Neni made the move from the Nile to the Alps and from Al Makaloon to FC Basel to play in the Champions League. From a football perspective, there's not much difference, as there are good players in both clubs and countries. However, the league structure is a bit different in Switzerland, as well as their way of thinking. It's more results-driven here, and the focus is all about winning the league. So, I had to adapt a little bit from my Egyptian club, Al Makaloum, where it was more about how we played. Nevertheless, I managed to change my way of thinking, to become more ambitious and think about winning tournaments, which, of course, is really important. I managed to overcome the fear of playing in the Champions League against great clubs like Real Madrid and Liverpool, Tottenham and Chelsea. It's a dream to even watch these teams in a stadium, let alone compete against them. Now El Neni hopes he can repeat his club's success with his country. A force in Africa, Egypt represented the continent in the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup. And there are hints that they could challenge again on the world stage. The latest FIFA rankings have seen them climb into the world's top 50. Everyone knows that we need a new generation of players. We're in a transition period and the whole team will soon need replacing. You can ask anyone around the world that changing a generation of players takes about three or four years. You have to be prepared to lose to less prestigious teams for a while. Then, when the new generation have come through, they will get the experience they need and be able to compete again with the world's better nation. I guess Spain are a good example. They suddenly started winning trophies a few years ago. Why? Because they've brought through a whole generation who all grew up and developed together. Players from Barcelona and Real Madrid all progressing together and winning tournaments. They were unstoppable. Egypt beat Chad 5-1 in the recent Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. And there is a strong desire in the country to really step up. I'd really like to achieve something for my country. I want to be among those who really do something internationally. Everyone would like to do that. I don't just want to talk about it, I want to do it. I'd like to tell my son that I was one of the best players in this generation and that we reached the World Cup Finals. I'd really like the Egyptian team to restore its previous status and to make people happy again. We are the friendliest nation I've met and I think our people deserve for our football team to be great again.